Hi everyone, this is Josh at Notion Music. Today I'm going to be talking about the chord library um, the, and the functionality that it provides for you in Notion 4. So the first thing is that you'll need to know <clears throat> the chord library, which you see at the bottom of my screen here, um, is toggled on and off by this little icon at the top that says C7 on it. It has these little tab um, fingering markings on it and that brings that open and closed. What you see here on my screen is something that I've put together quickly just to be able to do this little simple demonstration of how these things work. The first system in this score is a little finger style guitar, a very simple finger style guitar um, line that's written out in standardized notation. There's a few little things I'd like to talk about about that. First of all, I have my chords placed in and you just add those in by going to these different sections of the of the um, chord library menu. <clears throat> this is playing back simply like this, and it just labels the chords. Uh, okay, so you see that that's simple, and you can add in your bass notes by going into this section of the chord library menu. Um, you just put the D in with it. So if you see right here, I have the D written into the base of the chord. Um, next thing is, um, if I wanted to break this simple note, uh, finger style line down into a rhythm <coughs> style, and you'll see that in the second system here, I have the chords written out at the top, and it shows the fingering that, I, that I'm wanting the guitarist to play or use, and you can change those by clicking on the different fingerings inside of the chord library. And you'll see these funny looking notes as slashes. Uh, you can take those in and out of slash marks by going to uh, highlighting the section that you want to affect, and then go into the right click and go into the notes um, menu, and then you'll see show rhythm as slash, and you'll see they convert back. And I just simply put these in, these notes here, as the rhythm that I wanted to use. And it's essentially the same thing that you see up here. But you don't have to write everything out. You can if you want to. Um, and then you convert it back by using show as rhythm slash. And then that plays back using the chords that you've chosen to place at the top. And you'll notice here, I've got this fingering for the D chord in, in the beginning of bar three of this. And then uh, this fingering of the D chord and the uh, pick up to bar four. So if we go back and listen now, you hear. So it's a fairly simple explanation of how this works. Um, you can go through and change your chords on the fly just by adding them in. So I'll change this to um, G minor, C minor, We'll leave it at D major and then we'll come back to uh, G minor here and I'm going to effectively change that to G minor as well. Why is that to play? Anyway, so. So that's, that shows you how fast you can change your chords in a rhythm style um, chart for playback in Notion 4. Um, once again, this is finger style showing the tab as well as the Western notation. Uh, and then the second system showing the rhythm version. Um, I think that covers everything for Chord Library. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on the forum at forum.notionmusic.com. Um, and if you have any problems or you need some assistance, you can always contact us at support at notionmusic.com. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon.